Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw my Jurassic Cute Girl inspired by fall. So let's get started. To draw this fall inspired Jurassic Cute Girl, we're going to first start by drawing a curve for her beanie hat. So right here, let's start with a curve. It's going to be a pretty big wide curve. So say about that much. And then we're going to bring this up on both sides. And round it off and just go ahead and connect it all the way and so then from there I know it looks kind of weird right what's going on <laughs> um, from there let's start to um, draw her hair and her face so I'm going to say come about right here I'm just gonna give you enough space for some hair so let's say about right here and I'm just going to go ahead and curve out and then on this side right here and go ahead and curve right on the edge and curve out so this is her hair and then about let's see right here on this side once again curve in and out and then we're going to come kind of towards the center area we're going to draw a curve so this is going to be for the strand of hair kind of covering one of her eyes so I'm just going to bring this down so now that we've created this space in here I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve for her face so bring this down a little bit more so kind of in this area but right here I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve and tuck it in there okay so now that we have this space to work with we're going to draw her eyes so it's going to be really close to her hair so let's come in this area right here and we're going to draw a circle that tucks in right there and then on the other side it's going to be a partial circle so about right here And once again, tuck it inside. So then let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom and same thing over here. And tuck in this other small circle and a curved line right here and shade this in so thank you um, Instagram fans for helping me always to help me name these uh, draw so cute girls I really appreciate your help and I'm glad you guys are enjoy doing it so then now we have the eyes in let's come over here I'm just going to draw a lash that comes out so and thicken it and then her brow so I'm gonna come above about right here and draw a curve and same thing over here and this is gonna go over her hair there okay so then we have that and let's come here and draw her mouth so about right here saw the curve and cap it off okay so then now that we have that and let's finish off her um, beanie so we're, let's come to about right here and we're gonna go up on both sides and we're just gonna build up and let's round it off about right there give it a slight slant slant down curve and bring it in. Just add a little bit more curves to it and makes it a little bit softer. And then let's come to the top right here. I'm just going to add a little poof. <laughs> That'd be extra cute to add a little poof at the top. Okay, so then let's draw some details. I'm going to come right here in the center. Give you a little label. And of course, it's going to be a heart. 
right? <laughs> there. And then for some detail lines to um, I'm just gonna come in here very lightly. Just draw some curves. And if we come on this side, it's gonna go the other way. So this just adds some detail and also adds some dimension to our our um, hat. And then for the top, let's do the same thing. Just gonna wiggle some lines. It's gonna start going down this way. Okay, finally we have her um, hat done. So then before we finish the rest of her hair, let's go ahead and draw her body. So I'm gonna come right here in the center, give her a little neck, and I'm gonna flare it out a little bit. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve. And I'm gonna add this little collar for her sweater. and connect it. And I'm just gonna add some lines in here. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her shoulders and come out on both sides. So then from there, we can imagine her armpits about right here on both sides. And I'm just gonna add a slight angle line down. Okay, so now we know what to work with the area that we have. So she has her hands and it's holding a cup of hot cocoa. So let's start to draw her hands are bent. So we're going to bring this down. Bring this a little bit more and we're going to aim towards the center. So let's see here. Let's come right here. And about right there we'll stop. A curve. Now let's bring this in. So it's going to connect. I have one arm in. Add some details, some crease lines, and let's add a cuff right here. Okay, so same thing over here. We're going to mirror it basically. So right, right there. And bring this down. It's a bit easier. We can just mirror it and connect. And once again, draw a little cuff. And some crease lines. Okay, so then let's continue her sweater. So it's going to come down by right here. And now let's go ahead and bring this all the way down. So it's a really long sweater. So about right there, I'll go ahead and connect it. Add a cuff, a thick cuff, and connect. I'm gonna add some lines right here for some detail. And now her legs. So once again, right in the center, on both sides. So she's just wearing simple leggings. Because everything else is so complicated already, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this down, getting thinner as we come down. Let me work on this leg first. So about that much, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Now we're gonna start to draw her thick fall socks and then the boots. So flare it out a little bit and connect. And add a little curve right here. There. So same thing over here.
there. Okay, so now to draw the uh, <laughs> a little bit more complicated part, let's come right here where her cuffs are and we're going to draw her hands. So I'm just making them very simplified. So I'm just going to come in here kind of like with a curve. You add two lines right here for her fingers. Just an indication of her hands. That's kind of poking out of her sweater. And then in between right here, I'm going to draw the cup. So right here, let's angle. A really big cup of hot cocoa. Slight curve. I'm going to bring this cup all the way down. And connect. And then let's draw a lid for this hot cocoa. So we're going to pop it out. And it's going to be a step. And connect. Oops. And one line there. And let's add some steam, of course. Not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but let's add it anyways. And then right in the center, I'm going to add a circle for a little logo. And let's see if I can fit a little heart in here. Yay, we did it. <laughs> okay, and then can add some crease lines here and there if you like for some detail. And now to finish her gorgeous hair. So let's wiggle this down. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck it in. So same thing over here. So, oh, actually this is actually a strand. So let's bring this out about right here and connect to a strand of hair. Some details. Okay, so then right here, let's finish it off. So about right here, go ahead and just wiggle once again and taper it off in there. So there, I hope you love this fall inspired draw so cute girl. And once again, thank you to Instagram fans and the community page on YouTube for helping me name her. I hope you love this drawing and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.